Please welcome the man, the Woo! legend, Henry Winkler! Hey! Hey! How are you? Great to see you, I'm Henry. I'm very happy to be on this set. You're family here, Henry. That's yeah. how we do it. And, well, you know what? I, I actually feel like it. Awesome. Uh, and speaking of family, I'm sitting at home and I get a text from my mom in Raleigh, North Carolina. Yes. And put up this picture. She's like, look who I'm with. How are you with my mom hey! in Raleigh, North Carolina at the Umstead Hotel? I was on a book tour. And your mom came up and said, I'm Kit's mom. <laughs> I'm <so sorry. laughs> and she it. now <laughs> has reserved a seat here in L.A. next to my wife at the Grove in December. I'm coming. Oh, that's yes, great. Yes, you are. You're, you uh, said yes to be my moderator, which is unbelievable. Uh, it's going to be such a fun night. And oh, Henry. Yeah. That should be so good. Cool. Well, congratulations Thank on you. the book, Henry. I'm sure it is a fantastic read. And I love the title, The Fonz. And beyond, yeah. I, I can't imagine how wild it was at the peak of its popularity. Uh, speaking of happy days, of course, but I gotta just deviate for a quick second. And watching the recent Stallone documentary, it was so cool to see how much love he gave you. Because when you all had worked on Lords of Flatbush yes. together, and you were at the peak, and he was just coming out, and you went, you picked him up, and I like when well, you drop him off at Yucca. Down. Yeah, that's right, his car yeah. broke down. His car broke down, <laughs> so I went to uh, to pick him up with his first wife Sasha and his uh, bull mastiff. Yeah. We took up the entire back seat, right? Huge, and drooled so much <laughs> I had to get a snorkel <laughs> in order to get in there. But I, there's so many stories like that. You are that guy. If you have that one friend, you need to call. I, I love mean, that you were there. I thought for it was him. so cool that he was. And then you must have been blown away when Rocky just blew up. That that must have just tripped you out. But you know what? It didn't because I knew he was a writer, and he is so um, funny. He is genuinely funny and very articulate. You know, he just talks out of the side of his mouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you, but oh my, and Tulsa King, he's in Tulsa. Yeah, he's great. Oh, I love that. I watch that too. Yeah. Yeah. I call him every uh, after every episode. Oh, that's what awesome. other actor or actress have has stayed with you or called you and needed your help? I feel like there's a long list. You know what? Uh, that is such a good question. Um, uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't have an answer to that. That, but when when they call, uh, then I I go. So, getting back to the title. Yes, I'm, I'm waiting for Robert De Niro there we to go. call. To call. Yeah, yeah. You'll be so, there. Do you think he watches? Yes. Great, Bob. Um, <laughs> I, I just, anytime, I'm, I'm here for you. <laughs> I just, so, I'm, sure I'm waiting for that right roll right together. Yes. Yeah, really. Um, the Fonz and Beyond. Yes. B being Henry, t tell us about the time you had to use the Fonz voice to get through a crowd. Dallas. We're at the uh, the uh, flagship store of Neiman Marcus. Uh, Ron, Don Most, Anson Williams, myself. We are there and we're meeting uh, fans because we're now promoting this new show, Happy Days. 25,000 people wow. showed up and they stood between us and our car. Uh -oh. Don Most, uh, a, a, a wonderful friend of mine, just saw him in Boulder. Uh, but he was a little nervous <laughs> and said, how are we going to get out of here? <laughs> there were so many of them. And, just... <laughs> and I said, I promise you, we will. And I didn't use the, uh, the Fonz voice ever off the set. And I just, it came to me, I just said, all right, hey, listen up. <laughs> you're going to part like the Red Sea. <laughs> and you're not going to touch us. And... <laughs> <laughs> Wow. And we walked to the car, got in the car, and drove to the uh, hotel. Yeah, that voice still fonts. works. By the way, in, in hearing that voice, not to circle back, but did you sort of a little bit off of Stallone from working with him on Lords of Flatbush? Kind of a... Uh, well, you know what? I was in that movie, so my character also had a New York accent, <laughs> more than I do, coming from New York. Right. But um, Stallone was so uh, inventive that uh, in the beginning, I would think, what would Sly do? I love that. Wow, that's awesome. I love this. And Henry, what was your life like when Happy Days ended, right? The Fonz was so iconic, so you. What was that period of life like for you? Well, I, I thought, you know, he was so big, and he was so big in so many countries that I would go from mountaintop to mountaintop, but you cannot beat the system. And I didn't have a plan B. I had just lived my plan for 10 years. And I did not know what I was going to do next. And it was my lawyer, Skip Brittenham, who said, you know what, I'm going to start a production company for you. And I said, well, I can't do that. I'm dyslexic. I know nothing about. He said, you'll learn. And uh, 
my, I met two men uh, who were my partners for a while, and we, we couldn't find anything to really bring to ABC. And the third, uh, John Rich, we brought uh, MacGyver as the first show. Wow. A little show called MacGyver. You were one of the first, at least from what I can remember, as, as far as actors to really... Uh, take advantage and parlay that into successful production companies. And then uh, MacGyver, and I remember when, uh, I think I was a guest a couple times actually on Hollywood Squares. Yes. You produced oh, that. With Mon Michael Levitt. Yes, yes, that was so much fun. We had so much fun. And if you if you pick the nine perfect squares, then you would, I, I had to bring a change of underwear. <laughs> <laughs> because you literally, it was so fun. That was fun. That was awesome. Henry, all this on stuff. that show, I just remember that all the guests you have on Everybody Loves You. We were talking in the top of the show about Adam Sandler with his Hanukkah song. What okay. do you have in your pocket? I, and I'm telling you, this is random, that I have a picture of Adam in 1994 when I met him. I love that it's a Polaroid. It is a Polaroid. <laughs> Being in the Hanukkah song, that's how I met him. I called him. My uh, oldest son, Jed, worked for the management company that was with uh, Adam. And uh, I got his number and I said, thank you for putting me in the Hanukkah song. And a little while later, he said, would you like to be in the water boy? Oh, oh that's Everything awesome. Best. We interviewed Adam actually uh, this weekend and here's what he had to say about you. Henry knows I love him. Henry knows uh, he's one of the best friends anybody could ever have. Um, I met him many years ago and I still uh, for the first maybe 30 times I saw him all I can think about was Fonzie and then I started thinking about just Henry and he's just a warm human being that you can count on to always make you feel good. Oh, oh that's Henry. awesome. Wow. Yeah, it's such nice. Thank to, you, Adam. Yeah, that's awesome to hear right there. For you. I mean, you've had such an impact on 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 so many uh, uh, people, Henry. It must be it's so great to. Obviously. Well, you, you know what I, I have to say that what I really love is when you see somebody that you like and you see a performance that moves you. You've got to let them know. Henry writes handwritten notes to all of those people. Classy. I love it. I love it.